Bruce Lawn. The pushback is going to be, and I, and I hate to bring this up, but the pushback is going to be quite simple. It's no problem. Do you think? What about Dr. Eric Mason? That's all good. But, but, but what about Thomas Sowell? But what about Candace Owens? But what about Vody? What about the the the, the black leaders and voices who do not acknowledge that these things were connected and that there's these different pathways created that that, that impacted people over generations of generations and that all just kind of bring it all down to this very simple well black fatherlessness and just deduce it to that simple common denominator instead of acknowledging all of these different variables and what even caused black fatherlessness rates to go up how do you how do you respond to to those naysayers (laughs) because i hear that a lot and they and if they'll 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 pick a couple of people and just say ah you know that police brutality isn't that bad Oh, this isn't that bad. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. How do you how yeah. do you respond to, to, Let me to, to that? that? Let me voice. answer to that. So what about so what I answer them is when you're preaching the gospel to somebody, I'm gonna say, what about the atheist? Mm, okay. <laughs> like, there's a couple of things. First off, that t- Candace Owens and all these other people just tell me that black people aren't monolithic. That's number one. Wow, all black people aren't the same, <laughs> right? Um, but then. Not one of the people, and I and I say this very, very graciously, because I, I one of the things I repented of the other day is I just want to be careful how I talk about people that I disagree with in an unredemptive and almost satiristic way. Um, so I want to be gracious. Yeah, and but, I saw that video by the way, and I saw you broken. I showed a lot just in your humility and your and and, and you being broken instantly, like repented. And that was like, wow, this man is freaking salt of the earth. Man, you know, let me ask this question though, Ruslan. Name one poor black person that's against black people. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of any. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying, and when I say against black people, I don't want to. Let me rephrase that. Let me say, people that are like that, are they financially hurting? Hmm. I just. That's all I want to say about that. Hmm. So you think you think it it, it may be that. Well, let, yeah, let's not presume motives. I'm not going to do that because that's I will just, yeah, we'll just leave it there that it's not coming from people. I'll just say that on the any, any of us can do any of us can do a, a search on how well a group of people are doing. I don't know. I don't know if I know of any black person that doesn't have a great seat in those air arenas. And so that's all I'll say about that. How do we move towards any type of uh, solution? Because my I would love to see, and I know you're probably kind of spent and, and burnt on like having the, the, the same conversation, but a conversation with you and a votee, I think could be fruitful, but it doesn't sound like that's something you're really interested in. Is it, and is that because coming from a place of being hurt and being otherized? And do you think there could be any fruit from a conversation like that, where both brothers can come together and and and, and have the dialogue and unpack the 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 stuff on a scholarly level? Because you guys are talking on a whole another level. Where I'm like, I, some of this stuff is just kind of over my head, you know, even in the vocabulary. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think that that's something that that could be be beneficial and fruitful? And is that something that you would potentially be open to? I don't know. I'd have to get some counsel on it. I just, um, it, it, I think that when you slander someone, it would have to be on a platform I would choose um, with no edits, none of that. That's the thing. I don't talk, like, again, I don't talk about those guys. I, I'm, and so I'm very, um, man, I, I'm trying to be good, man, because it's, it's Bible coming into my mind, but I just want to be careful. I, I it's, is some things that I want to be careful of. That's what I would say. But other than that, um, I can say this with 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 very with a lot of confidence. I ain't scared of the smoke. Now we talking <laughs> about that. Um, <laughs> you understand? Like, I, yeah. I I believe that, and I'll say that arrogantly. I hope <laughs> you know. I I just think that there there needs to be a lot more. I I, I like when I, I I can say this. And I'll say this generally. Some of the people that you've mentioned mm-hmm. have never read Woke Church. Mm. No, none of them. Because I know people that have asked them. Mm. They haven't read Woke Church. They only engaged sound bites. They haven't listened to in they haven't never listened to my Woke Church series. Mm. They've never read my book, Manhood Restored. They've never read my book Unleashed on my biblical soteriology of sanctification. Mm. Uh, my my uh, my biblical theology of sanctification, how it works. They never read Bible to the Punch. They haven't read. I mean, it's people 
that haven't even read Urban Apologetics that saying, oh, more CRT. It's like, dude, you know, one yeah. person hears an argument, but when they curse examine uh, until another cross examines, like the scripture says. Yes. Proverbs. And so and so and so for and so for me, I, I just think um, I just think that they need to they need to be more charitable. And I think they need to be if it's true that they haven't read my book or listened to any of my sermons in full. Um, then would you say that's slander? Yeah, and that's what makes me frustrated about it. <laughs> I think specifically what Avodi, what his critique is, it's it's sliding into cultural Marxist ideologies almost unintentionally. Um, and so he w he wouldn't question your salvation. He wouldn't question uh, you as a minister of the gospel. It, it sounds like he's just saying, ah, it's sliding into some of these. And it's whether it's about you, Shailen, uh, so many brothers, and 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 I. And I I, I feel like at the least that's not a he's he's apostate he's denied the faith right it's not it's not el escalated to a level like that where some of the more uh, Jeff Durbin James White where I think the attacks are a little more um, flippant and a little less restrained yeah. and a little less gracious so that's why specifically I was and, bringing and, up and and ungodly yeah because I don't yeah. I don't have a problem with somebody critiquing me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm just saying, do your homework. Like, like for instance, let's talk about the. Can we talk about the word woke for one second, right? Yes, please, because this is another thing where I feel like people take the worldly definition and project it on the way you're using it, instead of the way you're using it or the way I've heard it used historically. And I can tell you about my understanding of it. I want to hear your understanding of it. But then they're taking that and now they're projecting it on what you're doing. Let me let me let me ask a question. So, historically, okay, it's like you heard this before, Ruslan. You're an artist, right? Where do the hymns come from? From my understanding, the hymns come from a lot of bar anthems and bar songs. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um, where does the word Trinity come from? Earlier, in that's earlier, second century, Tertullian. Okay. Um, if oh, you go that's to, right, Tertullian, yep. Tertullian coined the word tr from, from, the, from the Latin word Trinitas, which, uh, which uh, means, um, which is a mystic term from... Mm -hmm. A, a, a mystery cult and utilize that term as a way to coin the language. Um, mm. In in the translation of the Coptic Bible, there's iconography in it. And mm. one of those common ground iconographical objects is the Ankh. If you go to the Museum of the Bible and you look at the Ankh, which is a circle, it's a it's our cross, but with like a circle on it with mm. two deals sitting out here, right? Mm. And so they utilized that because they knew it meant life. The unk meant life. And, and so they said, man, that symbol means life. It looks kind of like the cross. Let's merge it with the cross so that they can see what does the Celtic Trinity symbol come from? Do history on that stuff. So when you look at the word woke years ago, um, first off, it wasn't even woke. It was consciousness, which W.E.B. Du Bois used. Right. W.E.B. Du Bois was discipled by a man named Alexander Crummel, a godly Christian man. Um, they viewed it as awareness. Um, they they didn't use they didn't have a, a term for the word Frederick Douglass, Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman. All of those, they they called it freedom. That's what they mm -hmm. called it. And so as as you look at all those different things, and then what ended up happening is when Pan Africanism came out in the fifties and the sixties, they began taking the word conscious and using it for their whole idea of what they did. In the eighties, they grabbed the word conscious from that era, which comes from W. E. B. Du Bois. So what happened was. 60 years later, hip hop artists and different people as they read black history was reading W.E.B. Du Bois. They took the word conscious from his double consciousness theory stuff and co-opted it for what they were saying, but didn't realize that he rooted it in his Christian worldview. But it's also sociological. So there's a sociological sense of being aware of something. That's all mm -hmm. it means. But I got it from Ephesians chapter five verse 14 through 16 awake sleeper and rise from the dead and christ will shine upon you the word there for awake means to be totally aware of god's redemptive work through jesus christ that means being aware of two things being aware of the sinfulness of man and the holiness of god seeing clearly that the world wow. is broken and that god can fix it and when you're awakened to how god wants things through the hebrew word shalom which is a Reine in the New Testament. The word shalom means to restitch creation back to its original design. In order to know how creation should look, you look at God and his intention. Why? Because in Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, he says, all things were made for him. What does the word for mean in the Greek? It's a purpose uh, preposition, which means all things were made by Jesus and he had 
purpose when he created it. So when we look at everything, we look at poverty, we say, what's God's purpose for that person's life? When we look at a marriage, we say, what's God's purpose for that? When we look at manhood and when we look at womanhood, we say, what's God's purpose for that particular person's life when it comes to manhood and womanhood? Um, when mm -hmm. we look at housing, what's God's purpose? When we look at clothes, what's God's purpose? And guess what? When we look at race relations and ethnicities and how different people are, we say, what is God's purpose? So being woke is being awakened by God through the gospel of the of the way in which things should properly be stitched back to God's order when it comes to racial injustice. Now, you don't have to necessarily be a Christian to know that there's injustice that takes place because, listen, this is theological, because even though the image of God is faced from them, it's still not erased. That means a non-Christian person can still be nice, even though it doesn't attribute to their salvation, right? Same thing with this. And so that's all I'm saying. My point with woke is that Christians should be the wokest people on the planet. We should be the most aware people of what God's standards are based on his law and where things are and know, like the sons of Issachar, know the times and know what Israel ought to do. I'm done, man. Bruce Lawn. Ah, 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 yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw my mama smile through the silhouette. Sunshine and all. Sunshine and all. But she don't know that I still feel like we ain't made it yet. No, I